Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk about Grip Puppy. Basically, it's a foam sleeve that dampens vibration that fits over your existing handlebar grips. Now, if you're new to the product, this will be of interest to you. If you've already used the product in the past, which I have on different bikes, you likely just go elsewhere now. <laughs> However, um, for those that haven't used them before, um, that's who really this video is uh, for. Now, the Honda CB500X is an incredible bike. Uh, this is a 2019 model. Um, there's a lot of modifications being done to this bike. Uh, the bike itself is a little bit vibey at about the 6,000 revs, which is sort of motorway speeds. Uh, well, it is motorway speeds. Um, and it can be a little bit uncomfortable through the handlebars once you get over that 6,000 revs, which equates to probably about 75, 80 mile an hour and above. They cost around about £15. This is 2023. And um, if you've never used them before and you get a little bit of vibration by the nature of the engine that you've got on your bike, then these are worthwhile having because they do just dampen that um, bit of vibration. They work. Um, they won't get rid of anything completely, uh, but it does reduce that uh, vibration and it gives you a nice soft grip. You do find it increases the circumference of your handlebar grips. Anyhow, um, the other good thing about these is that uh, I'll show you the tools that you'll need. Bear in mind this is for new users. So the tools you'll need is some washing up liquid and a knife. And that's all you need guys. I'm not going to go through step by step, but basically you do need potentially to trim the grips to get the right length, but that's easy. And they are a tight fit, so you need to use some soapy water. So a little bit of this with some, a little bit of water, not too much, and smear the inside of the grip and then you gradually work it on. So that's all the tools you need, unless you've modified your bike, like I have. So I'm going to have to remove, or at least take off the um, end piece of the back busters bars. Now, I'm not going to show you all that because your bike may not have them. And if they have, you'll know how these come off anyway. So let's just have a little look at these, uh, these bad boys. Oh, the other thing to mention is that, and I uh, didn't realise this, but they seem to make these for different uh, motorcycles. So this one is uh, was described as uh, Grip Puppy Comfort Grips for Honda models. And actually, uh, I thought that was just uh, the way that they were marking to them, but it seems that they do have different versions for different bikes, but... To be honest, in the past, I've swapped them from bike to bike, so I don't think it makes a lot of difference, but just keep an eye on that if you're ordering any. Well, I've used these before, and I've used them on lots of different bikes. Um, the other thing is they're very, very good quality. I've had them on bikes over a period of several years, uh, on the same bike over a period of several years, and they didn't deteriorate. Uh, they were pretty much as you see them, just there. So you can see the, the thickness there of the foam, but remember that compresses down and uh, the, the fit should be quite tight, but I'm just going to try it on the end of this. Uh, I mean, these are not original grips on the Honda. These are a little bit thicker um, because they are Oxford heated grips. So they, they are a little bit thicker than standard anyway. And actually that begs the question, will these fit at all? And I haven't thought about that, but what we need to do now is just measure them. So they obviously want to fit up against the this on the on this particular Oxford heated grip. They just want to fit up against here, 
and I don't want them to hang over any further than the end of the grip itself. I'm just going to literally put the grip up against where it is going to sit and then use a marker pen just to mark where I need to to cut and I want to cut it about there. So I've just marked it in line with this uh, end piece, although the cut piece I'll reverse and put up against the uh, this side of the grip, the raised part of the grip, and it'll be a bit tidier that way. So that's it. So it's been marked just simply with a marker pen, and we'll just cut it now, and uh, and then we'll fit it. And then I'm just going to use a steel ruler. Doesn't really matter. You could use scissors for this. And I'm going to just start by just putting a mark through. So I'm just gently doing it one stroke at a time, as they say. And that's that's the end cut. All I'm going to do is use my finger to uh, to line the inside, both sides. Sometimes these are quite straightforward to go on and sometimes this is through using on different bikes sometimes they're a bit awkward but uh, hopefully this will be enough to uh, lubricate it so it goes on so what i'm going to do is use a little bit of lubrication on here that eventually it just dries out they say not to use it until it's dried but once it's on it's uh, it's pretty much on there put a little bit of effort into it but not too much turning it helps and just nicely squeezed up against the end and you can see that's now flush just slightly in actually it's perfect it's exactly where I'd want it and that's now fitted even before the a grip puppy dries onto the grip you can see already I'm trying to turn that and it's only marginally marginally it's not even really turning so give it about five minutes and that'll be uh, that'll be rock solid okay guys so that's uh, quite a simple job done both of the grip puppies have been fitted Pretty straightforward. And really all we've got to do now is just go test everything. Make sure everything's working. So there you have it guys, big success. The vibrations that was getting through the handlebar grips has diminished. Indeed on a test ride on the motorway, sitting at about 75, very little in the way of vibration coming through the grip puppies. And the other thing to mention is the, um, and I wasn't so sure whether this, this was going to work, but they say that it works with heated grips. And I had the heated grips on um, to test that, and I've got to say that it does work through the, uh, the foam. So you can still use your heated grips. It cuts down on vibration. To be honest, excellent value for money. And it solved a little bit of a problem, a niggle, that I was getting on this Honda CB500X. So, thanks for watching. Thought that might be useful for somebody that hasn't used these before. Um, pretty simple. Again, thumbs up.